Today is day two of the Four Freedom event, and the theme for the day is Persevering in Hope. As we continue our prayer for freedom, week six in our manual introduces South Asia, we will be focusing on the following four groups. Goal soldiers, girls and women who are forced into marriages, the women of the night, and also single mothers. As the mother of six, I tasted the privilege of support in a very loving and caring husband, and we shared the joy of preparing and then welcoming each one of our children. The Bible records a number of pregnancies as well as the conditions under which the children were conceived and born. One such an example comes in Genesis 16. It's a rather complicated situation. Abram and Sarah waited eagerly for the child divinely promised to them. But as the years passed and the hope faded, Sarah came up with a very human possibility. She could still build a family if only Abram would take the Egyptian slave Hagar as his wife. I'm very sure that Hagar had no say and no choice in this arrangement. But as she realized that she was pregnant, she started despising her mistress. Again, Sarah turned to Abram, this time blaming him for her embarrassment. Abram's response was, she's yours, do what you think best. The ill treatment that now followed was so harsh that Hagar decided to run away to the desert. But she was found by God's angel and then he gave her the following two questions. Where do you come from? And where are you going? To her response, I'm running away from my mistress. He instructed her, go back and submit to your mistress. But then came a beautiful encouragement. You are indeed with child and your descendants will be too numerous to be counted. You will have a son and his name should be Ishmael, because God has heard. This beautiful promise is repeated throughout scripture as we find it in Psalm 34. God is close to the brokenhearted and God saves the crushed spirit. Hagar had such a condition and she wanted to escape from it. And then she encountered God, his presence and his involvement. We too may ask God to be with the children, the young girls and the women who are imprisoned in very similar conditions. May he give hope and instruction to their broken and fearful hearts. And let us be very faithful in our prayers and wherever possible assist these ladies.